Summit Prowler 7 is my name for this latest project. It's a scratch built single sideband and CW transceiver for the four most popular bands for parks and soda and portable operation in Australia, 80, 40, 30 and 20. Weighing in at about a kilogram, it's compact and light enough for short to medium walks. The whole soda kit can be under one and a half kilograms. This rig has a built-in W6JL 50 watt amplifier. You can operate with it switched out, or if the going gets rough, switch it in and punch through the noise. I'm just wondering, um, I'm having a laugh to myself here, I'm wondering if we can have 10 people out in the car park and 10 people indoors and we can have a two metre net between the two. Um, would that be, um, Nearly everything uh, in this transceiver is a one-off. The case built from angle aluminium and sheet, each of the boards custom designed to fit the space, a mix of surface mount and discrete components. Each module was built separately, tested and installed. The transceiver is a very simple, very conventional superhead. So as far as the receiver is concerned, from the TR relay through one of the four selected bandpass filters for the current band, uh, these are relay switched and then the entire selected bandpass filter is transmit receive switched. Um, this is all built in a single module. I've settled on these bandpass filters from Eamon EI9GQ. Eamon wrote this absolutely excellent book, Building a Transceiver. Highly recommended for all sorts of circuits, um, um, practical advice and, um, and a great resource. These bandpass filters have four poles. Each pole is trimmed and as a result of that you get a good two to 400 kilohertz um, flat band pass uh, and um, an excellent out of band rejection. So I found these to be easy to make and uh, easy to tune and they work very well. After the band pass filter, there is a dual gate MOSFET RF stage here, just a conventional stage, nothing special there and it has a relay switch at either end um, so that it can be switched in. If the receiver is connected to a resonant antenna, I use it on dipoles typically, you don't need this for 80, 40 or 30 metres, but for 20 metres or on a shortened or compromised antenna, it uh, does make a difference. The rest of the receiver is uh, completely conventional, so a diode ring mixer, a post mixer amplifier, uh, then into the IF stage, two dual gate MOSFETs with a Netcom 5.12 MHz crystal filter. SA612 product detector, an audio preamp and an audio amp. I tend to use these TDA 2003s, also UPC 2002s. They give a good 3 or 4 watts of audio and plenty of punch doesn't get drowned out by strong winds on a summit. Onto the transmitter, again completely conventional. So a FET mic amp, a, followed by a, um, an op amp for some audio gain, 1496 balanced modulator, the broadbanded um, double sideband goes off to the IF strip, so one stage of MOSFET amplification through the filter, second stage of MOSFET amplification, then returns to the transmit mixer, another 1496. The broadbanded uh, mix of output signals there is um, amplified and then sent off to one of those relay switched bandpass filters.
Upon returning, we've got signal energy at the uh, band of interest. There's a BD139 driver and a IRF510 um, QRP PA for 5 to 10 watts. Um, included a uh, W6JL 50 watt PA. The schematic's not shown there, it's just shown as a block. But this 50 watt PA can be switched in and out. So uh, when it's switched out, the IRF 510 is switched straight through to one of the four low pass filters. When uh, the 50 watt power amp is switched in, the IRF 510 becomes a driver through a pad to get the levels right and uh, into the 50 watt amplifier module and then straight out into the same low pass filters. And page three is the Arduino controller SI5351. Nothing special here really. Um, uh, very familiar to anyone who's looked at these uh, circuits before. Just a couple of things to say. I use um, PCF 8574 demultiplexes to switch the band relays. I have one for the bandpass filters and one for the low pass filters, and that just gives me independent control of the two. Then some DC and other controls. So uh, this is a this is the uh, the switching fit for the TR relay. Um, this is the VFO buffer side tone filtering and then for CW the script generates CW in software and puts it on clock one and that signal is uh, is, is buffered and then um, dropped on to the input of the driver for directly generated uh, CW Sierra, this is VK3 Echo Alpha Romeo. You're five and nine plus some. Five and nine. Go ahead. Yeah, very good morning to you. VK3 CAR portable, VK5 CIS. VK3 KR. VK3 Papa India.